Hello everyone! Welcome back to some more Wurzag. Um, what were we doing? Oh yes, we need to finish the dwarves, which we will do, I guess, so next turn. Smith. And then we're having to deal with this dwarf faction up here. Also, by the way, this would have been probably a couple days ago now by the time you actually see this episode, but on Total War they did a reveal of part of the new map for Total War Warhammer 2, like the campaign map, like, you know, what you see here. And it looks really cool. They show the high elf territory. They have that generic announcer dude, the old guy who apparently works for everybody. They have him narrating it. It's it's pretty neat. If you haven't seen it by now, I would say go check it out. It's like five minutes long. And yeah, let's dive into this. I don't think there's actually anything else we have to do this turn. We're now building that. We need to build this so we can get some giants. Although we can also get giants from over... Eh, over here. We have a few places we can gi get giants from. Also, I turned on the income for this province up here with uh, Barak Var. So now they are in the negative. I think it's like minus four for the extorted income. So we'll probably have to build... I don't know. Either a shaman hut to help fight against the corruption, which is part of the problem. Or just more boss tents. Are you, are you serious? I'm going to fight this simply because auto resolve may not win it for us. That's a brave rune lord right there. Probably an upset one as well. Because all of his people are dead. And also, in chains? Do greyskins take dwarf slaves or do they just kill them all? I don't even, I don't even know. start. I don't think this is going to be super exciting. But we are going to kill this poor person. Oh gosh darn it. So, after we clear out the dwarves, the next biggest thing we're going to have to deal with is the Greenskin faction. I don't know if they're going to confederate. Which means I may just need to shut them down the hard way. Which we can do. I don't think they're going to be a difficult faction to kill. It's just going to be slightly time consuming. Keep fast forwarding. We need to kill this guy outright. So he doesn't like somehow miraculously escape and... Whatever. Uh, but after the Greenskins are dead, the we have to kill... We definitely have to kill the Empire, that's for sure. And then I think it's the... Is it the Vampire Counts we have to slay for our short-term victory condition? Oh man, you killed 33. Nice job, buddy. Those 33 Savage Orcs won't bother anyone else again. You sure showed them. And now you're dead. That's up where uh, Grom Brindle is, right? And he is actually on his way. What? No, is that that's Thorgrim? Did they get multiple armies now, or did they just replace Grom Brindle with Thorgrim? I think that was yeah, that was that was Grom Brindle's army, right? Mork says what? What? All right, so we're going to pull oh, you no. back, Sneaky Fingers, back down here to continue fighting the corruption because we are oh, getting in the low. Off. Are you are you in this province now? Yeah. Get spy. Wait, maybe you're not. You should be. I think you are. All right, so they are all dead. Long live the Savage Orcs. Let's upgrade this boss tent right now. I think that's going to be it for here. We start moving Warzag up north. We want to upgrade that. But is there anything else we want to build here? I'm thinking maybe we should just build the wolf den. Yeah. 
We would need to build a wolf den in Karakade piece itself. Yeah, grumble, grumble. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. I don't really want to have Hagdor leave. But we kind of still need as many forces as we can get. Uh, Boomjaw, you're keeping the discipline of this fa of this place in check. We'll upgrade that. Walls are still being repaired. Let's not extort the income from here for right now. And let's see if the Greenskins... Oh, Greenskins. I always like something to fight. Where is Confederation? Hmm. Can we not confederate with the Savage Orc tribe? What would be st stopping us? Is it distance? Do I have to be next to them? To confederate? Huh. Well, we'll check on them again. So yeah, up here we're going to need to build a second boss tent. Or, again, we'll need to build the shaman hut here. Which isn't a bad idea, because we can get more casters. It's just very expensive. Where are you? 7,500 to start fighting against vampiric corruption. Is the corruption even bad here? 13%. That is kind of bad, which is affecting us by 3. We would still need minus 1. Hmm. And yeah, I think we're going to do a military action against the greenskins here. There goes some rebels popping. Aww, what? They got the crooked man? And these people are still down here! Still writing my ink? Like, I don't... Like, why? It's really... Upsetting me. Alright, positive 12. 5 because of military presence. So, we can leave here. I guess we can't go that far. Mm. I still kind of want to get a gobble leader for all of these. Yes, boss. This is so that we can do that quest. Let's get started. Have a treasury of five grand. We can do that next turn. I forgot to rename this goblin. Whoops. Whoops, my bad. Let's upgrade that. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Let's not upgrade that because we need to do the quest. 
the why. I'm not doing that. I would like to upgrade Warthax Army with some Savage Orc Biggins, but like we don't need Jesus 74 charge bonus. <laughs> a unit that has an upkeep of 77 should never have a charge bonus of 74. God, why are these Savage Orcs all just shock cav units? It's disgusting, man. It's it's Let's really take disgusting. What should be ours. In fact, they may even be better because their weapon strength. Definitely because their melee attack. Jesus, it's disgusting. Oh, I keep meaning to check the victory conditions. Because I think we need to kill the counts. Holy crap, the greenskins have the moot? Ate that Gabo. We do have a shaman. So let's get you over there. Nine grand. As soon as that's upgraded, we can get this upgraded. Which will give us a positive of plus two additional. We would still yeah, we would still need another hut. Also, let's upgrade this. And that. I want to be able to recruit Savage Orcs around here. Wow. I'm kinda of worried about. I should be worried about that. Uh, but about the green skins. I didn't realize they were spread up to here. Holy shit, Clan Angren is spread up to here too. What? Why? Why do the green skins have Wart Bag and Grun? What is going on? Oh, well, they confederated here. Did the Crooked Moon have all these then? I mean, there's Grimgore. Shit. Maybe attacking them isn't going to be as easy as, it, as I thought it would be. Who are they at war with? Just Clan Angren and the Dwarves. What in the hell, man? It looks like the Empire is pretty weak. They don't even have um, this province. Uh, let's see. Oh, we need these guys destroyed. Oh. And then the dwarves. I don't even need to worry about the vampire counts. Although I do need a ton of money from raiding. So I can't even... Well, no, I would need to confederate them. Okay. Alright, well, we need to deal with this then. So let's send Warzag. Down here. Boomjaw. Travel this way. And... We don't really have much money left. So if I can just break the vassalage of the Teeth snatch Snatches, I wonder if they'll still join the Confederation. Yeah. 
the very least, we'll get them to stop raiding me. And speaking of raiding, we need to start raiding and making a ton of money. So, I think we're gonna just have Boomjaw raid here. It's gonna piss off the Greenskins, but we kind of want to anyway. Move you down here. Let's upgrade that port. Anything else you want to make here? Nothing too expensive. So, you. We can build the Shaman Hut up here. So let's get uh, Shamrock up here to help lower the cost of that. Let's put you in there with Boomjaw. And then check out provinces. Who is feeling down? Blood River Valley, that's this place. So we already know that's down. Peak Pass is up in the north, that's fine. And then we know about this, which is minus nine. Minus nine, holy shit. All right, buddy, you need to actually come down here and assist with the Chaos Corruption there. How many turns are we looking at? Seven? I can't let that rebel. You're not on the list. But I don't see any reason to do that. Uh, well, we can definitely do that. Alright, so we raid a little bit. The thing is, though, I think we may need to move Boomjaw up here, and we need to get this under control. We'll move you up here for the quest. We're gonna break our alliance with you here soon. And we wanted to get this. Right? I think that's all I was going for. And then we want to upgrade Barrack Far's boss camp. Speaking of, uh, can we recruit? We don't have enough money right now, but yeah. Okay, so we can get one more boss, and then when that's done, we get two more bosses, which is really good. Uh, these thief snatchers are almost dead. Start the war. The war. Um. So actually, what I think I may do is just cancel that. And we're going to recruit a goblin lord if we can. Not goblin. Is fine. Income from all buildings, local region, 5%. I just, I love the way this Night Goblin War Boss looks. So we're going to recruit you. And to make this a, an actual effective army, we would need to mix in a lot of monsters. But for right now, I'm going to have this Night Gobbo. I did not mean to actually move you with an underway. Whoops. Um, but and I'll try to remember to rename this guy. But we're gonna keep him shadowing this army because I'm thinking we may need to, to declare war. Sir? What? Oh, and probably want to upgrade that stunty mine. I'm glad I looked at those victory conditions, because I would have just left the Teeth Snatches here. Way back here. And they're not even doing any anything for me. They are draining money from me right now. Mm. 
I, I just, I don't see the... I, how about I give you a military access? And they'll still pay me for it. Huh? Oh, now you move. Now that Wurzak's coming down, now you move. All right, Hagdor. I know it's not an exciting detail, but you just, you make a lot of money. What can we do with three grand? Can we, we're not gonna be able to build the, sh the hut, are we? No. I kinda wanna build the hut there, so. Also, we wanna upgrade this. How many level threes do we have? We have the one here, so we can build buildings out of there. There's so many things we need to upgrade. Uh, let's see, we're at a pos positive of five, so... We could make a little more money out of here. But I kind of like the growth at the same time. We'll upgrade this one to a tier three. It's never bad, I think, having a tier three growth item because it also increases your replenishment rate, which is a good thing. Boy, I've seen the future. So we'll do that. Right, and You're cutting them off. You're heading up to Karak Karaz a Karak. Yes, boss. And in turn. Care about that. Oh, yes, powers. Yes, every proper good. I think they know what's coming. Greetings. How can we fleece up? Okay. Great Shaman. Hmm. You are a drain. Where's the other one? Now they'll see. I think that's the only armies they had, right? That's the new one, Durbach. And then we have those two in reserve. Um, I wouldn't mind giving these Nykabos to our new goblin leader over here. And this guy is level four. But like the goblin great shaman, I don't think is really cool. But I think we will keep some of those night gobos. Now, do I have to deploy? I probably do, which is clear. Okay, so this is the one we just got, right? I don't think we need a goblin rock lobber down here. Probably change that to another boss tent. I think. And in terms of money, we want to upgrade these first. Keep forgetting that. Because of the buff we get from that. And from Hagdor. 
Um, that's not the okay. Now, what does this give me? Minus five percent upkeep for all lords or all heroes. We get vindictive glare as a bound spell. Is that from the little wall? Yeah, that's the little wall, right? Because it's gaze of Mork is the big wall one. Okay, that seems good. What are we looking at here? Boys of the Evil Eye will... Oh, reinforcements expected. We'll crush him. Oh, Jesus. That's right up there. So we can then go up and get this one. Miscast chance minus 20%. That's great. Melee attack up. Income from post-battle loot. And we get... Recharge if casting, and it's a one second recharge time. So every time we cast a spell, this thing recharges. And it affects map wide, plus 60 melee attack and charge bonus. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yes. I say yes to both of these things. All right, so we'll move down there. And right, we need to upgrade the boss tent here. You're gonna move back up all the way there. So you get back up to war boss. And like the green skin armies are all in the north right now. So after these quest battles. Your reach grows yet further, oh, great lord. Your endless victories are changing the very fates themselves. The world falls before your incredible power. Thank you. Still at minus one, oh, even with Soonjaw in there. Yes. I guess that would change with Sneaky Fingers. But, like, we can't keep Boomjaw there forever. But, if we do a Blitz attack against the, the Greenskins, Boomjaw could go boom boom. Then... Uh, we'll figure something out. I kind of want to give the Biggins... To Hagdor, but at the same time, I don't really want to pay for them right now. They're 200 each. I think we just disband everything else. Who can us die? Leaving on a jet plane. Why is this minus five? Oh, because we, um, right. Because we confederated. Which is why this is still minus one. Duh, yes. Seven turns, that lasts four. Four turns, okay, so that should be... Okay-ish. Let's upgrade the boss tent pole. Build a second one. Shamrock's still up there? Yeah. And upgrade the money here if we need to, don't need to. Upgrade this to tier 3. Probably recruit some Savage Orc Biggins from Boomjaw over in this province. Upgrade that. Oh, sh Jesus. Oh, so many things. Upgrade that. To fight this episode yet i i don't expect to win this one that's a lot of corollers their front line sucks though and the bolt throwers can't hit us 
Well, if you stay on the walls, they can. Is it worth the tower damage? I don't think so. So I think what we want to do... Same thing we did last time. Draw them into a fight. Unfortunately, that goblobber is going to be a pain in the ass. We may just have to do 1v1 here. Um, we need to use like this building as a blocker against that goblobber. It does too much damage. We need to let them get their morale back. Actually, go in. You're shot, Cav. You can do it. Do what you can to support. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. So much range fire. Savage Orcs don't do well under range fire. Also, these warriors right far past are kind of kicking their ass. Is that the boat thrower? Do they have an angle over the wall like that? What? what kind of bullshit is this? Bye, bravey friends. Too much artillery, too many corollers, can't stop them all. Entirely sure how the greenskins haven't finished what I started. Ready for boxing. Let's get you up there. Yeesh. That's nine. Hmm.
it's kind of unfortunate. I'm your boss. We made it send you over there. I think we need any more growth poles. So we'll build some stuff over there later. Let's fight against that corruption. I don't know, I may have this Scabo come up here and like harass the dwarves or something. In turn. Maybe get a quest battle next time. Kazrak. Let's take what should be ours. Let's do it. These gobbles have no chance. The Doom Divers will hurt. This false prophet don't talk to the green gods. I should know, cause they told me they don't like him. <laughs> he smells right funny. <laughs> He's got some crazy funk about him, all right. Go and kill the git and all his mates and get my mask back off him. They nicked it and I want it back. <laughs> I guess he smells funny. Where's he? Here we go. Please, please. I guess we just have a one one long line. And then I think we may send the squigs and the orc boys around. Um, actually, you be group two. Let's just put you guys in group five, and let's get you there. So yeah, we're gonna come up behind them with the fast force. Actually, they can't even see. Oh, no, they can't see me. This is probably in range. You just can't see him right now. But how are they seeing this group? Okay, now they're not. I'm just trying to wait until we have them totally surrounded and then we kind of go in at once. Oh, hi. Hi, hi, Oh, hey, hey, friends. Yeah, you, you actually 
Nah, 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 nah. One Savage Orc can kill those. Let's finish them all quick, though. Charge me, will ya? Right, that thing. We'll hold them in place. And we're going to surround him. Foot to those poor gabos. Let's see if we can save those. And they are shattered. Now we just need to kill those. That was pretty easy, although I, it looks like they did take out my goblobber. Gosh darn it. I'll have to repay for that. Let's go! Take that, false prophet. Nog drawed one finger. even better all right so we got most of the ones that I really wanted I still don't think we really need fury of the prophet I think we just get ravager because we already have a ton of money Potential out of that. And now we need him to fight the quest battle up there. Night Gobo Warboss! 
You need to go up there. We have two more turns of this annoying minus eight. Let's upgrade there. And sure, I guess we'll upgrade that. Boss, not forbid me away. And yeah, like after we do that quest battle, I think I kind of want to just take out the green skins. We'll take out their good cities, which are down here, really easy because they have no armies. I just kind of hate having to go all the way into the Empire lands to finish them off. Oh shit, we got a wall. Oh, that's bad, because the wall's way down here. Shit. I can't tell him just, like, move up there. Man, this wall may disband before we can even get them... At a city. Uh, that sucks. That really sucks. Ready for boxing. Alright, so we're finally okay here. We could grab a tinker or a bench. The other one is... Well, I mean, the other one is right there, though. Like, all you gotta do is travel south a little bit. And then you can get that. We could build a boar sty, but the boar sty we kind of want to build here because of the beast lair. Well, upgrading the walls is always a safe thing, so we'll just do that in six months. I'm sure we want to make that. Damn, the Empire has those mountain provinces. Alright, the obedience is now gone. We still kind of need to hang around Karaz Akarak. Which just sucks. We do not need to hang around Barak Var. So I think we're going to go back on raiding duty. And we're probably going to get the most money out of the nice Black shot. Crag? Well, we get 646 out of here. That's pretty good. Because we need to generate a ton of raiding income due to a, uh, one of the victory conditions. So, if I'm going to attack the Greenskins anyway, like, you know, might as well. Should probably give you that, since you're a support one. And I'm just keeping my eye on this, because we want to upgrade that. Three grand. Let's start giving you. I just wish the Orc Biggins weren't so damn expensive. And is it really worth getting Orc Boys? Well, you do have some upgrades for Orc Boys. You get a couple big ends. Uh, orc Era Boys are just like, uh. Although maybe he gets other Orcs. 
I could do all right. Let's start getting your army up. Because we just want to blitz through. I could get so much money if I just put you over here and raid. Maybe we can when we fight the corruption down a little bit more. With sneaky fingers. Be like, look at all the green skin armies. They're just all up there. We can cut them in half. Like, what if we... What if we declare before Warzag is even ready, though? Yeah. It's going down to 6.7. Because if we take these two, then we can build more boss tent like poles and we can get this under control. But for right now, we should probably just get this raised up. Decisions, decisions. Get you a couple more boys. I, I still kind of plan on keeping you down here, though. I expelled. Let's take what should be ours. Warzak, the great green prophet. <laughs> we need to start getting some biggins. So next turn, I think we recruit some. And then maybe even a second Savage Orc. Or Savage Orc, Warboy, Biggin? Tell a wild army to raid, can I? I think they may naturally go into that stance if I don't move my army. N no. All the widows trying to confederate finally. Oh, that would slow the rate of rebellion. I would prefer to keep this. How's our relationship with you? Rating greenskins is minus 27. I'm assuming that's just going to continually stack. Oh man, I don't even have money. Shit. Upkeep for Savage Orc Biggins, only a hundred. I kind of want to upgrade my tile. Oh, you've been attacked by Wisenland? Whoops! Shit, I meant to hit inner war on side of my ally. Damn it. I got clumsy fingers. Well, guess I have no other choice but to... Oh, I thought if you break 
you go to war automatically. I'll tell you what, are you willing to confederate now? We'll give him a chance. Can't be Vicky, you'll have a say. I guess not. Well, if I don't have to declare war exactly right now, then... Wait, are, is that a two-turn thing? Oh, I didn't even notice. Jesus, two turns? I guess it's gonna be another two turns then. Great and powerful war we gotta be aggressive. While we have this wall army. We will recruit some more boys. I kind of want to leave trolls to the goblin armies. So we'll recruit some more boys and then send you up. Ready. Let's fight. Jaws is going to take some territory. All of those are great things. And we need to get you some big ones. <laughs> we just got us. What does Oggy Neck to you want? On the job! Oh, this is a walled settlement? Really? Hmm. I don't know if this army is really equipped to take out a walled settlement. Drawn isn't walled. Who needs stabbing? Who I'll tell you what, just raid. Stab. Let's get that shaman hug. Doesn't really give us much money, does it? That's why I need to build money buildings. Hmm. We have a lot of little buildings we can upgrade. And then, like, a lot of slots that I don't really need anything in. Which I think maybe just a fax. De facto? De fa defaults. Defaults to, like, building a wall. I'm death rough. Trying. 
upgrade immediately, and then we move on there. I'm gonna slowly move. Moving. Hold the way. Great right again. <laughs> Actually, I may just keep them in this area in case the greenskins come down here, which is a definite possibility. Move Hagdor up here to get support from Arwa. One more turn on that. I think we're going to end it there, everybody. We'll start the war with the Greenskins, and then next episode we will maybe finish it? I don't know, depending on how fast we can kill them. Probably not next episode, considering they also can... Oh. Well. Never mind, they don't control the mountains anymore. They still have Grunberg. They have some things up here. Actually, I guess they don't really control them. Because we're going to take everything down here, so they won't have much. Yeah, we'll see how that turns out. Thanks for watching, everybody.